so for third degree price discrimination you are given a question like this p1 q 10 minus q p2 q 25 minus q and your marginal cost is given as three dollar okay so you have to find the maximum profit so for this you have to take q1 and q2 separately so for quantity one <coughs> q1 you have to set up the profit function individually here okay so uh, the total cost function will be 3q okay so your profit function 1 which is for quantity 1 tr1 minus tc1 okay tr1 matlab tr is a function of q1 okay so ye kya hoga p1 q p1 q1 into q1 minus tc q1 yani 3 q ki jagah 1 theek hai तो ये हो जाएगा 10 minus q1 into q1 minus 3q1 10q1 q1 square that will be q1 square plus 7q1 okay it's your profit so by differentiating this profit with respect to the quantity minus 2q1 plus 7 and you can put it 0 this will be your 3.5 Okay, similarly for quantity 2, you have, you are obtaining Q2, sorry, Pi2, which will be your uh, 25 minus Q2 into Q2 minus 3Q2, 25Q2, Q2 square minus 3Q2, 22Q2 minus Q2 square, this is your Pi2, now you are differentiating Pi2 with respect to Q2. To obtain the maximum optimal quantity so 22 minus 2 q2 equal to 0 you are obtaining q2 11 okay so uh, you have got the separate quantities now you can also find out the price by putting these quantities in the price function okay so we are getting p1 here is uh, 6.5 and p2 here is uh, 14 okay so you can find out pi 1 also uh, by putting the value of q1 and p1 in this and also find out the value of pi 2 also by putting the optimal value of q2 and uh, p2 in this function in this equation okay now by obtaining the simultaneous values you can find out the total profits by pi 1 plus pi 2 this is all about your third degree price discrimination in which you have to deal the different quantities in different ways so i hope you have found this lecture helpful if you found this lecture helpful then please do share this video to your friends and subscribe my channel for these type of videos